Well, in Gerard Mayo's contract that he signed last season, when the Patriots announced that he would be coming back and they're working to keep him, contractually, he was designated as the successor to Bill Belichick. And what that means is when Bill Belichick uh, has been moved aside, as, of course, we talked about yesterday, mutual parting of the ways between the New England Patriots and Bill Belichick, Gerard Mayo would take over. Detailed at the beginning of the hour how this would happen contractually, why it happens, and now it has happened. Gerard Mayo is going to be the new head coach of the Patriots. And, you know, I would say outside a lot of the speculation focused on Mike Vrabel coming back to New England uh, during the time when, when he was in the Patriots Hall of Fame and whether he would be the successor. And outside, that was all the discussion inside the building, especially with owner Robert Kraft. Uh, this was always the choice. I mean, when, when he was a player here and I was covering him, we called him Gerard Belichick just because that's how much of a disciple he was for Bill Belichick. They kept him in the building. He turned down several head coach interviews just to stay because this was the plan. This was written into his contract that he would succeed Bill Belichick. And now he is going to the Patriots. We'll have a new head coach. Ian, thank you so much. It is interesting that this point was being made about this agreement and it was put into the contract this offseason, knowing Gerard Mayo's presence as a player turned coach within this organization. The fact that it waited a day to make the announcement now uh, the Patriots have their next head coach in Gerard Mayo. J uh, Jason McCourney knows him well. Uh, you know what the organization needs. Your thoughts on this decision? I'm fired up for Gerard. I know Gerard personally. Good. I was there in the building with him. Obviously, my brother played with him for a numerous amount of years. I've gotten a chance to be around Gerard. And for Patriots fans, you're watching and you've had Bill Belichick for the past 24 years and all the success and the personality that Bill comes along with. Gerard Mayo, you heard Ian say they called him Little Belichick, and that a lot of that has to do with Gerard's football knowledge. When he was out there as a linebacker, he handled all the checks. He knew what everybody was doing on the football field, and he's a leader at his core, and his specialty is people. When it comes to personality and how things are going to be, Gerard Mayo is completely different than a Bill Belichick. Gerard's laughing at all times in that building, and he's getting to know guys. He's close with them. Gerard's personality and the vibe that he has when he walks in the room, everybody brightens up, everybody stands straight up because that's what he brings with it. He joined the staff in 2019. That was after we won the Super Bowl. And you think about that year, the linebackers we have from a Van Noy to a Dante Hightower to a Jamie Collins, and he was able to get all of those guys, a Jawan Bentley for you, Kyle, all of those guys going in the right direction and playing good ball. This guy is a fantastic coach. I think beyond just X's and O's, he is one of the best leaders in this game and I'm excited for what his regime's going to bring in. I think what everybody's going to be watching closely now is for the past few years, Gerard's been on this staff. So his meetings with Robert Kraft, with Jonathan Kraft, that's him saying what he's seeing and what needs to be done to move forward to get this organization going back in the right direction. So in the coming weeks and months, it's going to be fascinating to see this is a Patriots team organization that you think, hey, when it passes on to somebody that's been there, all right, well, a lot of guys are still going to be there. What does Mayo see about the staff and everything above it of what he's going to change moving forward? Who's going to remain there? Who's going to be the new people there? Uh, fascinating, excited as hell for Gerard Mayo because he's a great dude and he's a fantastic coach. Well, that's the interesting part, right? So can he self-scout this coaching staff and the front office and say, well, this guy actually isn't good enough, or is it like just the same old people that we had last year? I think that's a real concern, and if Rabel was to come in, Vrabel would probably wipe a clean slate and say, okay, I'm bringing all fresh. I have to think there's a sigh of relief from a lot of those Patriot staffers, front office and coaching staff, that, okay, well, Mayo's here. Okay, so I guess we're good. Is that your assumption, or you think he would do this and say, I'm bringing in some other people? I, don't, I wouldn't assume that at all. I think for Gerard, the, this team is they're picking third in the draft, so there's no way when you take over, you're like, all right, we're good. Let's just run it back with everything we have. I think for Gerard, to your point, it's going to be self-scouting. And you can say, assume Vrabel would have came in and wiped clean. He might have, he might not have. I wouldn't assume that Gerard may not do that as well. He's going to look and he's going to be hard and, crisp and uh, harsh on everybody and see what do we need to do moving forward to be victorious. The goal in New England, Robert Kraft said it, the goal is Super Bowls. We don't care about just making the playoffs or winning some games or winning the division. The goal is ultimately to be holding Lombardi at the end of the season. If Gerard Mayo doesn't believe the people there are going to help them get there, I think he'll replace them. To, to that point, for those in New England who are like, what do you mean we're going with Mayo? We stunk last year. Mm. Gerard Mayo interviewed for the Philadelphia job a couple years ago when Sirianni got it and did a very good job. I know he impressed him a lot of okay. people. Houston Texans job, Denver Broncos job. Last year, Carolina has an opening. Tepper says, I want to interview. He's like, 
I'm good. Mm. I'm going to try to put my time in here. Mm -hmm. And as we learned from Ian's great reporting last night, hey, there was some contractual stuff yeah. here saying in so many words that if that goes down this way, I'm the guy because I'm not taking other jobs. So he was a highly sought after, at least coaching candidate elsewhere. This isn't just, hey, let's keep it here. Let's just keep kicking the can along. I think Gerard Mayo could have been a head coach. Like we saw D'Amico Ryans be a head coach after years in San Francisco. Like we've seen Steve Wilkes get opportunities after years. After we've seen Josh McDaniels take that Raiders job finally. Like I think Mayo would have been a head coach last year, but he didn't even interview. Mm -hmm. So this isn't just some next man up and some kind of lazy hire. I, I think they viewed him as the best candidate. Now, the Vrabel wrinkle gets real interesting for me because I thought that was a good fit for Vrabel. From what we're hearing out of Tennessee, like, where's Vrabel going? Mm -hmm. What franchise is going to wrap their arms around him? Mm. Because that was the perfect one. He had the red jacket and everything. I'm a little surprised it happened with Mayo like this because I thought they would at least want to meet with Vrabel. I'm surprised too. I feel like a fan. You think Vrabel's right there. Maybe Gerard Mayo will be a great coach. You know Mike Vrabel is a great coach. It's a fit. He's got the Patriots blood us all there. I'm surprised, but I'm also very impressed with the Patriots, the way they produced this, the way they unrolled this. This was machine-like. They, they didn't give a damn about the noise or what social media is saying or whatever they're saying. It's like, Bill will go on Thursday. Gerard will be introduced on Friday. Like We have a plan. Like That is very machine-like, Patriots-like. And I just think Gerard Mayo, really impressive guy. Like, I don't know him like you do, but look, I know he's a Tennessee legend. And he's a guy who's a top 10 pick, rookie of the year, a Super Bowl winner, an all pro. He was with one team his whole career, his whole organization. Like, he is a Patriot through and through. And every single thing he's done since he was a college freshman, he's been successful at. I also think it's like, all right, great. That's awesome. You have, what are you doing with the Patriots offense? Like, who's the quarterback and how are you going to get him to be a pro bowler? Because there's so many ripple effects to this Patriots hire. Let's pull from the headlines. This weekend, the Buffalo Bills and Miami Dolphins are playing in playoff games. Next year, the New York Jets are bringing Aaron Rodgers back and all that goes with that. The AFC is going to be a thing. So there's no soft rollouts. Don't show up, Jared Mayo, after getting probably the biggest replacement coaching job in the history of sports mm -hmm. and come out and go, you know, 5-12 and 12 next season. Like, is expected with those banners and that boss and that prestige to win. There's a lot of people who do a good job with that team. He got it. He's earned it. But it's like it's go time really quickly if you're the Pats head coach. There's so many layers to this decision making tree for the New England Patriots, one of which was it sounds like this contractual <laughs> obligation mm -hmm. that they put in place last summer. Also to a point that Peter brought up earlier, which is this allows the Patriots to forego the typical requirements in terms of interviews and hiring, which is another thing you're going to pay attention to later this month is all this paperwork shuffling that other teams are going to go through. The Patriots have now excused themselves from that, from making this decision. It's another defensive head coach, but he's young and he's been a part of the system. What we were so curious about yesterday in terms of where Belichick goes next is, does Bill Belichick have to go to a place where he can be a GM and a head coach? Where does Gerard Mayo go with, are you being a head coach and pushing to be the GM as well? Or do the Patriots now have to go out mm. and hire a GM, Peter, that works well with Gerard Mayo? They have a great front office. You might laugh and say, well, their picks have been bad, but in the last couple of years, Elliot Wolf, who's Ron Wolf's son, has come over from, obviously he was in Green Bay for years and then has taken other sides. So he's there. Pat Stewart, who is in Carolina and Philadelphia, is there. They've got good people in that front office. I wonder if they do a full GM search, and they might, because in the last 24 years, yes, Scott Pioli was there, and of course we've had different people circle through, whether it be mm. your Nick Casario, Nick Casario mm. and then even Adam Peters, who is currently interviewing for the Washington job and the Chargers job and the Raiders job. There are going to be names. Do they bring someone from the outside in mm. to interview for that GM job? Because they did not do that mm. for the head coaching job. Adam Peters is an interesting one. Uh, He's been with the Niners for years. He was in Denver, and then he was with the Patriots when they were doing in all those Lombardies. I, I wonder if they say, hey, last second, AP, we, we got a shot for you, because I think he's the number one bell to ball as far as GMs go. And I don't think he's even been requested to interview in, in New England yet. Yeah. There's a GM decision to be made in New England. Also, Gerard Mayo being a defensive guy, what kind of offense does yep. he want to run mm. with the number three yep. overall pick in the NFL draft mm. in 2024 this season as well? Gerard Mayo, the new head coach in New England. Uh, the succession plan was in place, and we all just lived it over the last 24 years. Go, Mayo! Congratulations go. to Gerard Mayo. Good guy, Mayo. Jerry? Pretty good guy? Great guy. Great awesome. guy. Love it. Well, I, I love it. Jason McCourty. His specialty is people. I, I thought that was fantastic. Can I actually fantastic. ask real quick? Does this yeah. lighten things in New England a little bit? I think so. Uh, like, uh, is it be like every other, or is it still all no, I think so. no days off? That's no not uh, the no days off. You're gonna work. No, but, but I'm that's talking not, like you walk not, in there and you're just gonna chill. That's not Gerard's personality. Yeah, yeah. That's not Gerard is a lively guy. That's not his personality. Interesting. So that's very different. Yeah. All right. Yeah.